Hey Logan, it's me and Tony, aka the guy who uploads a lot of reviews on concerts, movies, operas, and has also uploaded a lot of short films with me as the actor. And I know I'm two days late, but I want to wish you a very blessed, very prosperous, and very happy birthday to you. Now, how did I know it was your birthday today? Well, I frequent DeviantArt a lot, and when I saw that you had a DeviantArt account, I was kind of interested in what material you had, and boy, did I have to say, I really like your drawings and your artwork, and especially your fanfics as well. Your fanfics, even though I don't really read them a lot, I have to say, were very well written for the most part, and your drawings, I have to say, were very colorful and were quite detailed, and I could really see a possible future of you as a cartoonist, and I have to say, just keep going for it, because all I can say is that your works are very nice to look at, and I definitely enjoy seeing them. And I especially enjoy watching all of your reviews on the animated movies that you had the pleasure or even displeasure of watching. Now, how did I know you as, or how did I get to know you as Huey Toonmore from your animated re movie reviews? Well. It all started ever since I was a senior at high school, and I saw that you made a cameo appearance from the Hardcore Kids review of Fritz the Cat, and I have to say it was one of the funniest cameos that I ever saw because, well, and it was also the first one, because I didn't really frequent your reviews a lot. I mostly frequented the Cartoon Heroes reviews and the Hardcore Kids reviews, and I enjoyed them. And when I saw your cameo, I was quite hooked. And I was laughing to myself because it was just that funny. I mean, the way that you said that you were a total fan of the Hardcore Kid and you tried to help him. And when the Hardcore Kid said that the film that they were reviewing currently was Fritz the Cat, your character said, except for that one. <laughs> and it was just so hilarious. And then when you dropped the phone, it was just wow. It was a really funny cameo and a very fun first experience with you as Huey Tumor. And then I seriously started to get more invested when you and Brandon made a crossover over review of Fella Day. And I have to say, it was definitely great. It was definitely very fantastic to see you two working together. And I definitely have to say I had a lot of fun watching you guys give your most honest opinions and even working off of each other, especially that punch the hardcore kid gave. It was just, it was just so hilarious. I cannot stop laughing at that. It was just pure awesomeness. And then somewhere around late 2011, I caught your review of Swan Princess and The Nutcracker Prince. And I have to say, they were pretty good reviews, and I definitely enjoyed them. And I especially loved how respectful you were, especially concerning of what happened to the late Michelle Nicastro. I definitely miss her too. I mean, she was such a great actress and singer. She definitely had a lot of talent, and she was a very beautiful person. So I definitely have my heart going out to her as well. And then somewhere along 2012, somewhere about like late July, early August, I religiously started watching your animated movie reviews. And let me just tell you, I definitely enjoyed the hell out of them. There were moments where I would wake up at like 6 a.m. in the morning because I was traveling from the Philippines to Berlin, Germany, mostly for flat searching and getting used to the city. And there were moments where I woke up every 6 a.m. in the morning to catch your review show and just made myself watch your review show. And I definitely enjoyed every single moment of your honest opinions about these movies. And I hope to see more, and I hope to see you grow, and I could really see that you're definitely growing as a reviewer as time went on, and I definitely enjoyed them. Even if there were certain critics that panned this movie or panned that movie, you managed to give a certain amount of hope 
and optimism to each of those movies because I know that this is probably the most important facet of a critic to see the positives in everything and not just the negatives. It's always important to find the positives in everything and that's what I felt inside and I felt that that's what you taught me even though it was kind of on, on the subconscious level that I kind of realized that. And it was definitely impactful when I saw your reviews. And I also like to thank you so much for being a positive influence in my life and when it comes to reviewing. I definitely enjoyed every single one of them. And it was just a lot of fun watching your various crossovers. I especially loved your top 13 best animated monsters. It was really that enjoyable seeing you, Sam, and Leslie pick which were the top 13 animated monsters of all time and give your two cents on those. It was just one of my favorite episodes that I've seen. And not just episodes, but one of my favorite crossovers of all time. And when I saw your recent review of King Kong the movie, I definitely have to say, yeah, I regret watching that movie. It was just so subpar. And the talent of Jody Benson and even that of um, Dudley Moore, I felt that was just so wasted. But still, I really loved how you gave your two cents on that movie. I really liked how you managed to trash it. And hopefully that will stay and hopefully that movie will stay forgotten because yeah, the mighty Kong, the mighty Kong was definitely not a great movie at all. It really pales in comparison to the original King Kong. But overall, I definitely enjoyed all of your reviews, all of your crossovers. They were a lot of fun and they Left a huge smile on my face. Oh, unless I forget. I also enjoyed your appearances on the now defunct fantasy movie memories. It was just so interesting seeing you as you give your honest two cents. Give the little backstories of what happened during those films. And it was just so enlightening for me because I was able to learn a lot more of what happened during the behind the scenes process of those films that have now become cult classics. Or have established themselves for like as classics for the mainstream audience. So yeah, overall I definitely enjoyed review your reviews. I feel like I'm learning a lot more from them. And once again, I hope you have a blessed birthday and I hope that your birthday will be or I hope that your birthday has been a huge treat for you and have a good day, my friend. Mm -hmm.